It's the Cookie Show with Matt and Mitch. We're back with all the big players who are involved in the making of the cooking show with Matt and Mitch into the overnight success that it is. Tens, if not hundreds of people have paid fallen in love with the show and our crew is back asking some questions that the general public has. How and when did you two meet? Well, I remember it like it was yesterday. Uh, we were really young when we became best friends. <laughs> we were born at the same time, in the same room, but from different mothers. Uh, and fathers. <laughs> My first word was Mitch. My first word was anti-establishment. My second word was Matt. <laughs> He had such potential. And we've been best friends since then, so literally since birth. Wow, that's a long time. Have you ever gotten into any big fights? Uh, we don't really fight much. Uh, we're pacifists. <laughs> well, what about arguments? He said we're pacifists. Right, right. Pacifists don't physically fight, but can argue. All right, you want to go? Uh... Matt and Mitch aren't the only ones in charge of what they wear. That's where Goot and Stroot come in, two German sibling costume designers who try and put us in their shoes. Is it hard to come up with a wardrobe for everyone on the show? Are you serious? Matt and Mitch don't let us change any of the wardrobe. Yeah, but they first suggested the sweaters we agreed because we thought they were joking, but... They love the sweaters so much, they haven't let us change them at all. Well, we did try to change them a bit for the episode 8, but we all know how that ended. What happened? Well, let's just say that Boot and I tried to have a little fun and play a little prank. See, we told them that we shredded up their sweaters and we gave them some ridiculous wardrobes to wear. Bad idea. It kind of caused the whole episode 8 fiasco. Whoops. The intro song we all know and love is performed by Matt and Mitch, but was written by Michael and Jackson, two songwriters who've been around the block. Now how'd you guys come up with those catchy tunes that Matt and Mitch sing? Well you can share the music is our life. It's probably why we don't have a wife. It's really, really sad I know, but our music career's have it no time low. We used to write for Peter, Paul and Mary. Now we can't even find a woman to marry! When we were young, we won four Grammys! Now we can't even fit into our pajamas! The show doesn't even pay a lot! The last songwriter just got shot! But we will keep writing here! Because our music seems to spread some tears! Oh, that was a good note, my man. That was a great note. You too. Matt and Midge have the talent for the big screen, but if it wasn't for Jerry and James, their agents, their talent might not have made it to the bright lights of Hollywood. It must be big money to be the agents of these two young stars. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Larry and Bill are great. They really know how to pull off a great tragedy. Do you mean Matt and Midge? What you just call them? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, you give me a million or there's no deal. Okay, look, uh, they are terrible on screen, all right? But for some reason, the world loves them, so we love them. Hey, hey, listen up, buddy, okay? They are going to be riding the bear. They are not just standing next to the bear. They are going to be riding it, or there is no deal! Oh, Jerry, keep your cool. We got two of the hottest stars, Roddy and Murray. You're right. We're going to be fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. When did this become a nude shoot? Oh, you're paying that much. Okay, okay. okay. Oh, yeah, they're gonna take us back to the top. We used to be Tom Hanks agent before he got big and dumped us. Hey, no, 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 no. We need ten gerbils, not nine, not eleven, God forbid. We need ten or there's no deal, all right? Yeah, these two aren't dumping us anytime soon. They're what the industry likes to call stupid. Oh, one billion? Hold on. Deal. Yeah, I'm gonna we just booked the dog food commercial. No! All they gotta do is eat dog food for a whole week and act like they like it. Yes! Yeah! Business! Show me the money. Oh, I <laughs> love being shown where the money is. 
there you have it. An exclusive inside look of how Matt and Mitch have reached stardom. With everyone that helps along the way, from directors and agents all the way down to security. Join our next documentary as we dive deep into grass, the blades of freedom.